actually just found this little journal. It was a spiral. I was trying to find something to write with. One spot said journal. It was in 2009. It was like a half written journal entry saying how my mom said that I should start a journal before it all happens because things were taken off. I would just started my first company. At that time, it was called CWC Films. So in 2009, that was eight years ago. I forgot that I was doing a documentary with a band who was about to go on tour and get signed by a label. They were talking about me having a spot on a tour bus and me going around the country with them and that was the plan. And I mean, it was all right there. I was doing music videos for them and stuff like that too, but I mean, it was crazy. And aside from that, I found this new way to make good money doing philanthropy work for the Greek organizations at the university. I'd done like five or six main ones. It was so incredibly easy for me and my mom and everyone to see how easily it would be to take that and go into other colleges around the country. So these both these things were going on at once and I was just ecstatic. I was working for myself, just really got into college when I was still like 19 or 18. They both didn't work out. <laughs> Good morning, it is 8 o'clock on Sunday, and I am making rewrites to a book that I wrote called Elves. Elves was a, um, originally a screenplay that I wrote, um, TV pilot, that uh, actually won an award, an AMA for it. What's up? So I usually don't shoot on Sundays, but my client needed the pictures tonight, so here I am. I have to go in and meet these people. I think they're looking at me. I gotta go. You know, I forgot how long of a road it's been for me. Band broke up, the Flint's piece, they just decided it was against the rules for me to do what I was doing, the way I was doing it. So that kind of killed my business. It's been a, almost a decade that I've actually been writing books, writing stories and stuff like that. I haven't even attempted to publish one. I, I actually did attempt, I take that back. I have attempted uh, to get publishers and agents and stuff and I've continually failed. But now, you know, you can self-publish. So that's what I'm gonna do. Plenty of times I've gotten on auditions that could change my life. I, I loved it, but I just told, I, I just forgot that it was that way. I write, I write books, I write stories. This one's called Elves. I got another one behind it. One of the first books that I wrote tentatively called Angels in Disguise. Intense thriller. It's a little sci-fi thriller. I actually put this one in book format. It's been like half written for a long time. Go back into it. Just add stuff. It's already 200 pages. <laughs> I was worried it would be long enough for a book. It, the thing is, is, it's not It's not even near the right length as far as words go. Next company, CWC Studios, you know, we had a pretty good end with high school theater. We, we, we were doing it for the district, the first and state stuff. Easily see how we could expand that to, you know, at least around the state. I saw it going further than that. Taken to the board of the thespians. One of the guys just mentioned how illegal it was for copyright issues, and then that tanked. They canceled the festival, and I never got to pitch it. I didn't submit it to any others after that. Anyway, so I turned it into a short book. Um, I'm going to self-publish it. I'm going back over this book and making it a little bit more book-like. It's kind of what I want. I want it to be more. You know, right now, it's kind of like... So this is the actual book here. And see how... I mean, I turned it into... I mean, this is similar to a script, but it's not really a script. There are some books like this. This more looks like a transcription from a couple different like interviews and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I actually wanted. I wanted to be that way. But now I'm like thinking, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. You know, so it's all, a, it's a learning process. It's just nice to remind yourself sometimes. I'm starting out here in Dallas, almost brand new. And it's just sometimes it's nice to remember. Even as a professional, I've been doing this for a while and I've had some big success and some big opportunities. Many times this was almost it. I still think it's, Almost it. And then I got the other one, Fear Squad, which was actually getting close to being done. I'm about two thirds way done with that. It's just time, you know, it's time. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to just do everything that I was meant to do. I don't know what that is exactly. Well, maybe I do, maybe I do know what it is. It's just fear, it's been fear, getting rid of that and just doing it anyway. I think focusing on my business, this book writing and this vlog, these videos are my three things. I wrote in that journal, I said either it's gonna happen or I'm gonna die trying. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be this business or maybe it's something else. Maybe it's a book. Maybe it's this vlog. Maybe it's, I don't know. I'm just going to live passionately, do what I love, and continue to try. Or I'll die. <laughs> Ride or die. All right. I got to get back. Hope you have a good day.